is a problem of what kind of foundation do I take? Because I needed some result which belonged to the foundation, to the to the to the to the presentation by Van der other one by Chevalier, other one by Serre, and I had to mix them. So I built a certain compromise in my thesis. The first chapter is describing a certain compromise, and then out of that, I could use all the available tools and prove what I wanted to prove a certain duality theorem, which was a question of major question of Van der which I solved in my thesis. And I remember Grotendieck discussing about my thesis uh, this time. He said, what you did is not proper. You knew the general definition of a scheme. It's true, I knew it. But I was not the only one. All, well, this, as you know, when a new idea comes, I mean, there are a number of people who interact very, very heavily among each other to say whether it was, uh, whether it was, uh, whether it was Grotendieck, whether myself, doesn't matter. We were all aware of what was needed. And we had variants, and I, I produced what well, we produced eventually the, the, the definition by, by, by Gotten. What you should do in your thesis is to give the foundations of that. I say, my dear, no, I want to finish my thesis. <laughs> I want to finish my thesis. Of course, it's a compromise. Very unhappy compromise, but at least. It enables me to give the proof, and I'm quite confident that was the proper foundation will be given, I proof we translate immediately, which was, of course, true. So, that, but it was typical, and then, um, again, again, and so, so, at the time, a major breakthrough by Grotenik was this proof of the so-called riemann roch Herzogburg für Amiso version, which is very, uh, very, very great, great, very great progress, I mean, when, the, when, the, I uh, remember Yotsubo commenting on that. <laughs> he was totally, totally surprised. And uh, so, but then in this uh, 